Hi guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Coming back to you today with another interview question. Today's topic is how to implement is anagram in C, C++. So today we're going to find out what is an anagram and how to implement this function. Let's get started and let's jump right into it. Okay, so what is an anagram or what are anagrams? Two words are considered to be anagrams if they have the exact same letters appearing in different order. So some examples are T and eat. They're both anagrams because they have the exact number of letters but in different order. Another example is tail and late, dad and add, who and how. Both have the same exact number of letters and in different order. How do we solve this problem? One solution that may come to your mind is the sorting, right? Best performance we know is the quick sort, which has an O n log n performance. And even after you sort the elements, keep in mind that you have to compare the letters of the two strings letter by letter, right? That still is an O n. Because if you have a string of a million character in size, you're going to have to compare two million characters against each other in a for loop. So that's an O n. And also, you don't want to write a quick sort or any other sorting mechanism during an interview, right? I wouldn't want to do that. So definitely, we have to find a better, easier solution. Okay, so the next solution, we use hashing or bucketing. Yes, this is an ON solution and can use a little extra memory in this case. So if we only have counters for the letters from A to Z or for the ASCII set, if we just have integer counts for each one, that's what I mean by bucketing here. Then every time we see a new character, in the string we keep counts of that character in a bucket array so let's assume that our strings are case insensitive so that t and t uh, capital letter small letter doesn't matter to us we're trying to see if the words actually are anagrams keeping this solution in mind let's see that through an example before we jump into the code so let's take dad and add as an example all right, here's what I want to try to explain to you how we want to do it. Here, I just drew a 26 array of integers, right? We could potentially have even more, all the ASCII set, which is like 255 characters. We can just assume for now, just for simplicity, that we have 26, all capital. To begin with, we have an array of 26 integers. And each integer here, as you can see, is actually zero, right? So we initialize it to all zeros. Now let's see on the second slide what we want to do next. So we take the first string, string one, that has the word dad. And for each letter in string one, we add one to corresponding bucket for that letter in this integer array. So let's see that in action. First, we look at the string letter by letter, letter D. We go here into that bucket and add one here. We just added one for D. The next letter is going to be A, so we're going to go to the A bucket and add one there. All right, and then now to the last letter D, we put another one into the D bucket, so we end up with one A and two Ds in the bucket array. All right, so that takes care of the first string. We move on to the second string. Now we want to change the rules a little bit. Instead of adding, we're going to subtract. So for each letter in string two, let's subtract one from the corresponding bucket in the same array so now we're looking at a we go to the bucket a there's one we minus one we end up with zero that's fine all right so we move to the next letter of a of the second string it's d in this case all right d we look at the bucket we have two we subtract one and end up with only one all right we still have more characters so we move on the last character d we come here and we subtract one more and it's zero so with this algorithm, we basically figured out that these are two actually anagrams. We just went through the all letters and we found counts came to zero. So that means they're anagrams. Let's take another example where they're not really anagrams to verify that this algorithm is going to work. So let's take bad and add. All right, so string one is bad, string two is add. So again, all the buckets are initialized to zero to begin with. We look at the first letter, for first string, we add one to each corresponding bucket by looking at the, at the letters by letter. So letter B, we have one, added one to the bucket B. Okay, the next one, letter A, we add one, letter D, we add one. So after done with the first string, we actually end up with three letters, right? A1, B1, and, and D1. 
Okay, so let's move on to the next string. In this case, like I said before, instead of adding, we subtract. So we take A, we go to the A bucket, and we minus 1 from there. We end up with 0. That's a good case. That's fine. Then we move to D, and then there's 1 there. We subtract 1, end up with 0. What's going to happen with the last D? Okay, here, we subtract 1 more, and we get minus 1. This immediately should indicate to us that there's a missing D, right, from the first string. So this should trigger, we should stop at this case and say, okay, we know now for sure that these are not anagrams. So that's when we stop. All right, so the result here that they're not anagrams. We return false from the function. So this basic algorithm is an ON and uses little extra memory and should be very fast, very efficient, and will produce the right result. All right, so let's see how to implement this. So let's jump into code next. All right, so I assume you have Visual Studio installed. I have Visual Studio 2015 Community Edition on my machine. So make sure you launch and run Visual Studio. Then you want to go to File, New, hit Project Menu. All right, so from the New Project window, we're going to select Visual C++. And then from the list here, Make sure to select Win32 console app, and I'm going to call this app is anagram. Right, so hit the OK button on the wizard, hit next. It's going to be a console app. We can leave everything as is. Hit the finish button so that it creates the app for us. OK, so now we have a main function. So the first thing we want to do is create a function that returns true or false. We're going to use the C++ boolean type. You can use an integer, return 0 or 1. For me, this, this is good enough. Bool as anagram. And this function basically is going to take two strings. So const char pointer p str1, const char pointer p str2. So the user is going to give us two strings that we can compare and see if they're anagrams or not. Uh, as usual, the first thing you should do, always check and validate that the input parameters are valid. So null is pster1 or null is pster2, then we should say return false. Now, if you want to say like, if they're both null, we're going to return true, I'll leave that up to you. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so after we validate the input parameters, what we want to do next Eventually, we want to return true from this function, right? Both words are anagrams. Now we want to see how we can compare the two strings. The first thing we said we want to do is have a bucket array of integers. So let's call it letter count. And we're going to make it of uh, 256. And the reason is in the ASCII set we have from 0 to 255, that's a total of 256. Now somebody might say, OK, why not just use the 26 alphabet, right? We can do that too, or 52 if you want to be case sensitive, but we said we want to be case insensitive, so 26. That also is possible, but you have to also, as you look at each single character, you want to make sure it's within that range from A to Z, and then somehow map that offset by A so that it, it falls into the buckets. To simplify things, let's just stick with 256. How do we initialize all to zero? We just say equals zero. This should set this all to zero, okay? So now we have the bucket array. The first thing we want to do is loop through first string and increment counters. You can either use a for loop or a while loop. I'm going to use a while loop while string one is not at the null character. So this checks if it's at the null character, it will be false. It will break out and then otherwise it will just go in. And make sure always to say pster one plus plus increment the counter. If we miss the step, then we end up with an infinite loop. All right, so now let's look at each character of pster one. I'm going to catch that into a C variable. We can make it integer or char. Let's just make it integer C equals this. And just to make it always case insensitive, we're going to say to upper, call this function to upper here. Actually, I want to just avoid uh, declaring a variable inside the while loop. I'm going to move this guy outside here assigned to it in the loop all right so we said we want to now increment letter count at c equals letter count at c plus one or you can do plus plus right now we want to just verify that this works okay so this basically is the first loop go through each character into its bucket add one now we want to do the next loop loop through 
second string and decrement counters so while contents of easter 2 while it's not null same thing c equals to upper contents of easter 2 letter count of c equals letter count for that c minus one an extra thing we want to do is like i said when i was explaining the slides we should actually check for zero here right if letter count of c is less than zero if it's minus that means we hit a character that's not in the first string so return false definitely not anagrams don't forget to plus plus beaster two plus plus either one is fine all right so this is pretty much it we have the counters initialize to zero get the first string each character put it in its bucket and increment by one until we're done go to the next string for each character decrement its bucket if we hit a number less than zero that means it's a new letter or the numbers don't match then return false otherwise they're all we're all good they're both actually anagrams all right so how do we test this I'm going to use const char pointer b tests array that actually is going to be including some tests here, comma dad. To save a little bit of typing, I have already created some strings in here that I want to use. All right, so now we're going to loop through for integer i equals zero. i is less than, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five. Well, I don't want to count. That's hard coding stuff. It's never nice. How about we use an array size macro of p tests? And I've explained this in other videos, but you can create your own macro. This, this uh, macro is actually defined inside windows.h, or you can define your own. I've covered that in a previous video, so let's just do this now we're gonna say print and comparing the first string with the second string but i like to put them inside brackets like this for ease of readability comparing this with this and is anagram returned this let's return a string from is anagram okay so comma so the first parameter we want to pass is p tests of i the second one is going to be b tests of i plus one and the last one is going to be is anagram of the two comparing the two together so let me just put this on the same line so as anagram is going to take the two strings as parameters and it's going to return either true or false if it returns true we're just going to display yes otherwise we're going to display no right so this on another line Oh, I forgot the closing code. Okay. So one thing I forgot to mention here is, as you can see, I want to compare i and i plus one. That means I want to compare this and this. If I keep the loop counter plus plus i like this, it's going to do the first time these together. The second time is going to do this and this, which we don't want to do, right? We want to actually do each row separately. So instead, I'm going to just say increment by i plus equals two. Increment by two. All right, let's, uh, let's compile this and make sure it compiles. Nothing is missing. On the build menu, you can say build solution or hit on the keyboard Control shift b so no errors let's try to run it now to run it you can hit the green button here or on the keyboard i'm gonna hit Control f5 oops i think we forgot to add the new line character everything is on a single line i'm gonna add that here let's compile again this time i'm gonna hit on the keyboard Control shift b Control f5 all right so now it's on separate lines i'm gonna zoom in so we can see this okay you can see now comparing that and add is anagram returned yes because they're anagrams two and toe yes t and e yes lathe and tail yes they're both anagrams who and how yes on and no, and no they're also anagrams however mad and bad are not anagrams no dan and man are not anagrams ad and lad are not anagrams and finally debit card and bad credit are both anagrams so this is how this thing is actually implemented correctly here so now that we did this right how can we just simplify this loop a little bit how would you write a more i wouldn't say like more elegant but i guess this is fine but just to see you how we can optimize a little bit i think we can just get rid of the c and we can say put this copy this guy here inside this line here right and we can say now instead of this equals we can say plus plus or we can say at the beginning plus plus this i'm just trying to reduce the code i don't know why this is useful but just for fun okay i even don't want to do this right i can actually do this here i can just 
keep it to a single line say i don't know if you can read this or not but as long as the string is not empty increment the letter count at this location and while you look at the location after you're done with all this because this is a post fix notation after this whole statement is done increment pister one by by one the pointer is going to be this is not going to be incrementing the character inside the string no this has actually closer affinity to the pointer itself so the content of this and then this guy is the one that's going to be incremented okay so that's how it reads we can do the exact same here take this thing out of here put it inside here and just say minus minus and then we're going to do this plus plus at the end get rid of this and we can even combine that with the f statement if all of this is less than zero return false right i hope this is not confusing to you but to me this looks okay let's test it and make sure that this doesn't break the logic Control shift b to compile okay Control f5 to run and to zoom in as you can see we are still getting the same results this is pretty much the same code the same logic just the code is a little bit more compact so this is how you implement as anagram using bucketing mechanism we did not check that the two strings have the exact same number of characters so if i compare add and da for example this function is going to fail and i mean it's not going to fail it's just going to return uh, true when it's not true if we hit compile and run and now you can see here, right, the first, it thinks that add and da are the same because we should always, this logic is not going to work unless we uh, check the same length. So to fix this bug, we have to add one more check here. Make sure two strings have exact same length. It's just a simple test, but it's very important. If string length of pister1 not the same as string length of pister to return false. Okay, so let's test this now. Control F5. And as you can see now, that add and da are not anagrams, which is the correct behavior. Right, so that's it. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Please leave me also comments. Thanks again video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have a request for a video, leave me a comment. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And finally, go check out my website, programmertube.com, download the source code, and for more free stuff.